Now, uh, uh, Tex, something that um, we might as well go all the way with controversy, something I saw on your website that, uh, that I do find troubling, um, uh, not with you, but, but with this person, is that I put all my support in 2008 with Ron Paul. I actually met him, and uh, he seemed like a nice enough guy, but then I started hearing stories about him being a Freemason, and, and I see that you're covering that at texmars.com. Uh, tell me, tell us about that. Well, first of all, you know, when we mention uh, Ron Paul, I, I mean, you know, it's often said, Bruce, that elections now are sort of a choice between two evils. Right. And, and boy, that's the truth. Especially, you know, Democrat and Republican, hey, uh, not a dime's worth of difference of the two, the two. They are controlled, I believe, by the same evil faction uh, uh, at, at the very top of the structure of the Illuminati elite. But, but as far as Ron Paul goes, if I had to vote for a guy as congressman, I would vote for Ron Paul over anyone else. So let me first of all state, you know, that, that when you look at the, the other, uh, you know, almost 655 congressmen, and all including the senators, I think I'd vote for Ron Paul over just about everybody uh, there. So, you know, that, that is, I'm saying something very favorable about it. He very much is a constitutionalist. He uh, is uh, against unconstitutional wars. Uh, and even though, uh, you know, I'm a retired Air Force officer and spent over 20 years, uh, I, I'm, I'm very glad to say that I'm against war, too. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, <laughs> war is a very unpleasant thing, and I, and I lost to some friends in, in Vietnam uh, that were uh, shot down. Uh, so, uh, in, in any case, let me just say that for all those reasons, I admire Ron Paul. Now, some of the reasons I don't admire him, he says he's a, a solid Christian, uh, but he very much is a waffler on the subject of uh, homosexuality uh, and uh, gay marriage and things like that. And if you ask him a question on that, believe me, uh, he can tap dance and ballet around uh, more than Rahm Emanuel can. And, you know, Rahm Emanuel, the White House chief of staff, was a former ballet dancer. So Ron Paul will, 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 will jump and uh, try to divert you on that subject. Uh, and I'm a Christian, and I believe homosexuality is, well, frankly, disgusting. Now, I know that right. some of your audience may say, oh, Tex Moore is the horrible homophobic monster. And they say whatever they want to. I love this country. And, uh, you know, they have the right to say things about me, and I have the right to say things about them. So there you go. But uh, he certainly waffles on that issue. Now, as far as the Masonic order goes, his, his wife, I don't blame everything on the man here, or the spouse, but she is a member of the Order of the Eastern Star, which is a Masonic women's group. His two daughters are, are, are members of Masonic uh, young girls groups. Uh, so, you know, there, there you have that. But as far as he, he goes, uh, in the Masonic thing, his Chief campaign aide, a man named Coben, uh, admits that he has frequently gone to Masonic lodges, spoken to the groups there, and that he's very favorable toward Freemasonry and holds it in high esteem. Well, I think he does know what Freemasonry is all about, and you know, so there again, he's been, he, I think he's just doing that for political advantage. Another thing, too, I think Ron Paul knows very well that 9-11 was indeed an inside job. I don't really like that term because I know who really did it. I believe it was a combination, certainly of the White House, rogue elements of the CIA and FBI, working very close with the Israeli Mossad. Uh, and I think Ron Paul knows that too. But he was willing to let Glenn Beck, who was just a paid hatchet man for the establishment, to call 9-11 truth people nut jobs. And I saw Ron Paul uh, there on the, the Glenn Beck show on Fox, and Ron Paul just sort of you know, smiled like, yeah, he agreed with that. And that's another area where he dances away and, and tries to hide the obvious because he knows in America it's not politically correct to tell the truth about 9-11 or the Oklahoma City bombing or any of these other false flag uh, events. Uh, but so I give, I give uh, Ron Paul his due in many areas. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, he's, a, he's a waffler on those issues. And uh, I, personally, I, I'm, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm looking for a hero. I'm looking for a guy that really believes something and is willing to tell the media, go jump in the lake, friends. You know, I'm going to tell you the truth no matter what. 
I don't think Ron Paul is too eager to get elected, and he's, he's just not going to do that. I noticed at the, the most recent conservative political action committee uh, convention they had, this is the biggest conservative Republican group uh, or, or political action committee in, in, the, in America. They had their annual meeting, and boy, Ron Paul people were there in droves. In fact, the straw poll... Uh, that they actually voted Ron Paul uh, as the man they, they would like to become president, which is fine and dandy compared to uh, some of the fakes out there. Uh, I mean, you know, when you consider Newt Gingrich, who is nothing but a shield for uh, the establishment and others, hey, I'd vote for Ron Paul too. Uh, but when a Christian man got up to speak, uh, to have his say, which is free speech about homosexuality, Ron Paul people all stood up, and booed and hissed and screamed and hollered and started chanting, Ron Paul, Ron Paul, to try to put down that speaker. In other words, the Ron Paul people were the homosexuals there. And uh, quite frankly, um, I went to a Ron Paul meeting uh, down here in Austin, Texas once, and most of the people there were homosexuals. It was like a coming-out party for the gays, you know. And that's why Ron Paul, he, he appreci- he's a libertarian. Uh, and he's not going to say anything about the gay lifestyle or gay marriage. He voted uh, uh, one time. He voted for gay marriage. The next time he voted sort of against it. So he's he again. Even there, he can't make up his mind whether he wants to get the conservatives or uh, you know or what he wants on his team. But so you know, I've gone a long way around it to say I, I have no evidence he is a Mason. But he mm-hmm. but even his campaign aides admit he has spoken to Masonic groups inside Masonic lodges. Uh, and he holds him in high esteem. So hmm. that's about the most I, I can say of the man. Uh, but, but again, other people, hey, maybe people listening to your audience, they're in your area. I know San Francisco's not too far away. They may say, I like Ron Paul even more, now that I know he's pro-gay. You know? well, this, so I don't know. Well, well, and this program can be heard online, so we have listeners from all over the place, but it, it actually broadcasts in the radio stations in the two biggest cities of New Hampshire, which are Nashua and Manchester. So uh, okay. that's, a fair, that's a fairly libertarian state. 